previously of the weeks of planting, we eventually get to show you our greenhouse. Actually, we have a lot more to plant. <laughs> Just trying to find a place to put everything. And finally have water installed in our greenhouse after a long winter. Then we get to move our focus on solving some of the major problems that we know are going to come. i never seen like that strong. Dig out a little bit more on that side, make our water problem go away. It'll make sense. Digging it all up again. Because we're going to build another foundation there for a future project which we will surprise you guys with. How many times are we going to dig this place up? It's going to look nice. Getting back to work this morning, Zula has just head off to the wood market. She's going to pick up some lumber. The first thing I want to get done this morning is lay down some concrete on the right side of the greenhouse. On this side, I'm quickly going to make a form sloping in the direction that I want. Once that settles, I can put in some bricks so I can have like this little loop. And once that dries, we'll be able to put piping in for the drainage. That's the first job to do today. We can't lay the piping until maybe next week because the ground is still frozen. Then Zula has another project that we need to get done this week. We crack on with this and at least get this job done. going from this side of the greenhouse to the front side of the greenhouse just making sure that it's level and I think it is where it's just a little bit of a slope between the back and the front and a little bit of a slope between the wall and outside so the water can flow in that direction. Once I have everything marked up I can just clean up here, fill it, it's all locked into place and we can go make some concrete. Zula just arrived back with some more lumber. <laughs> She obviously has a job for me. Obviously, since you're coming back with more lumber, that definitely means that you have more work for me. Or me, <laughs> myself. Or you. Now, actually, the lumber here, we got this. We're going to do some shelving inside of the greenhouse. Since this week, we cannot really dig the ground because it's still a bit frozen. Yes, I can start with that concrete, but that prepares for the digging for the piping for next week. Zula wants to do some shelving for the greenhouse. Yes. Hey Zula. Yes. She's going to start looking at this, preparing this. I'm going to go make some concrete in a bathtub by hand. <laughs> This is how we do it in Mongolia, just do it in the bathtub. I'm just gonna do half a bag of concrete at a time. I think it's gonna be easier since I'm mixing it by myself. If you know how to mix concrete, always start with the water, then add in the concrete and then mix it so you get a soup. Then you can start adding in the aggregate so you get the consistency that you like. And then once it's mixed, you can move it over and put it in the pores. While I am finishing off the concrete work, Zula is gonna go and start burning off this wood because what we did in the greenhouse for all our raised beds we did shusuki bond a japanese way of treating the wood and you would have seen us do our wood shed the same way it's really simple to do you just take a fresh cut piece of lumber you just burn it down then you brush off the ash and then once you've brushed it off you just oil it down with the linseed oil zula is going to do start on burning all the wood so that we can start cleaning it tomorrow oiling it cutting it down and building the shelves Just something simple like that. Now I'm gonna hand this over to my wife so I can finish the concrete and she can burn the wood. Thank you, baby. Okay. <laughs> It looks great. It doesn't have to be perfect because uh, we're going to cover it up anyway. You're not going to see it. It just has to be functional.
This morning I went to go pick up some of these clay red bricks. Zula is still burning wood, so that is gonna take pretty much the whole day, so we can't start on the shelving. So I thought that while I have the day, I'm gonna start concreting these bricks in so they can set so that we can work with this next week with the piping. The idea now is I have the concrete that is set. I'm going to install the bricks this way so that it has a little bit of a gap here where I can put in gravel and the water can drain out. I'm gonna go mix up some mortar and get these installed. Because I don't have to mix up that much mortar to do, there's only 30 bricks that I need to do, so I'm just gonna do it in the bucket. The only difference between doing concrete and the mortar is I'm using just sand as the aggregate. That, you know, that way I can get a nice clean surface. So I'm just gonna mix it in here. Baby, the wood smells lovely. Ah. It smells lovely. Yeah. The wood smells so great. It may not be my birthday, but I just want to celebrate. At least this job is done. It's working, the water's filtering through the stones. Filled up here with some topsoil and then plant some grass seeds so we can have grass all the way up to the red bricks. Nice. What do you think, baby? Beautiful. A bit of landscaping. <laughs> Julia is just about finished with the wood. She's burnt it all and she's scraped it all off. She's just gonna oil it. So I'm starting to go on the brackets. These are metal black brackets that we liked. These are gonna go on the back wall and then we're gonna have the Shishugi Barn burnt wood on top. These just have two holes. I just need to drill two new holes because we're gonna have two 15 by 15s on it. And once I have the holes on all of them, we can start to mock up where on the greenhouse we're gonna put the shelving. One done, 12 to go. <laughs> Really nice. Zula did such a great job burning this down. We're going to use this for the shelving and plus we have a bench that we're going to make but we're going to start off with the shelving because we have so much things that need to go into the greenhouse. Just going to cut this down so we can oil it and then we can put in the brackets. As I said before that we are using a white linseed oil, finished look is great. I like this color, beautiful. Brings back memories of doing all the wood in there and the uh, Yeah, first time we've done that, I never do it again. So I love it, so I'm doing it again. It looks fantastic. 
and yeah. it's the best way to take care of wood here in Mongolia. It's a hell of a lot of work. Yeah, but after finish, look, it's yes. beautiful. Zula's going to crack on with this, and then once this is all done, we can put up the shelving. Woo. Barbecue tonight! Bar <laughs> Barbecue. Seven point five on the line. Two, fifty one and a half. Right. Mm -hmm. So, are you happy with that? Tima. Good. <laughs> Now we have everything measured up. It's just to make the holes. Yay! Okay, good. Yes. Good, good, good. I'm exciting! <laughs> To put up these, just draw them in. <laughs> draw them in, screw them in, very simple. Excuse me, that's the wrong side. Huh? Huh? <laughs> just, I need to have a, like a, a working belt. Yes, yes, yes. I've been telling everyone for two years <laughs> I need a belt. Yes, yes, yes. working belts. Yes, yes. Two yes. years. No one sent me one. Sorry. <laughs> Now the question is, what? What are you gonna put on there? They're gonna be full. Yeah, it's going to fall.